Hello everyone. I've been hearing a lot about the signs of a recovery in the economy, so I thought that I'd take some time and look for a recovery on my own. Uh, so while searching for a recovery, I came across the following headlines. AOL cutting one-third of its workforce over 1,000 jobs. Lockheed Martin to cut 1,200 jobs. City of Reno approved 78 layoffs. Sacramento Bee newspaper to cut 25 more jobs. Foot Locker to close 117 stores and cut 120 corporate jobs. Aero Trucking claims Chapter 11 bankruptcy. UPS to cut 1,800 management jobs. Pfizer to cut 680 jobs. LA Times to cut 80 jobs. Virginia Department of Transportation, 678 layoffs. Pilgrim's Pride Corporation, 230 jobs. The list goes on and on, and these are just a few that I came up with over the past week. I mean, the truth of the matter is that we've lost 7.2 million jobs since the beginning of 2008. But wait, then I found this. A glimmer of hope, I thought. The FDIC is increasing staff for 2010 from 7,000 workers to 8,650. Now, of course, it's going to make the government bigger, which is not a good idea, but at least there's going to be some jobs available. However, closer look reveals the truth. A majority of the jobs will only be temporary to help with future bank closings. Future bank closings? How's that part of our recovery? Why would the government be expecting so many bank closings coming soon? Well, a big part of that will be a result of what's happening in housing. And we'll take a look at housing in our continued search for recovery.